Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will tell you about a complete product configurator toolkit for your WordPress and WooCommerce sites. If you're excited and ready, let's get started. And our plugin's name is Stacks. And here you can see what you can do with this plugin. Uh, so here, this sidebar is beautifully created with Stacks. And here you can see that uh, you have the options of changing the uh, color, the size, the dimensions, and everything you need, even the uh, attributes, small attributes. So uh, Stacks has beautiful product add-ons. It also has 2D and even 3D product configuration. So let's now go to our WordPress website and test these features in action. And now I'm on my WordPress dashboard and here is how Stacks looks like on here. And before starting off with Stacks, you will need to go to Stacks and Settings. And under this general section, you will need to make sure that Stacks Configurator is enabled so that you can work with it. So after making sure that this uh, field is uh, fixed, we are going to Products. And let's say we are selling a box of free colors and different dimensions. So we are first of all creating a product here. So we are adding a new one. I will write box and also we are setting a uh, thumbnail or our product image and here is it after setting we will just need to uh, publish it and then we are done from this part so let's now add our attributes so we will start with the colors then we're going to stacks and we're going to attributes here we are adding a new one and we are starting with naming it. We will name it box color. So our title will be color and our template will be image swatches. So here we've got plenty of options, but for the coloring options, the image swatches is the best. So let's go with it. And then we will need to choose the type. Here we are choosing color. And here you can see this uh, view attribute support table. Once you click here, you can see all the supported types. It supports uh, images, colors, uh, uh, fonts, text. And here you can see the templates, the uh, drop down, uh, the options list, card, image swatches. Uh, remember I said that this one is the best for coloring. So yeah, here you can see, and you can choose whichever you want to match the look and feel of your website. Okay, so let's go back to our coloring options. Um, so here we're done uh, from this part. Let's now go and add our attributes. So here you are cl clicking here and uh, on this label, you're writing the color. So the first one is white. Uh, from this thumbnail, you are choosing the color image. So let's say I'm choosing this uh, circle, a uh, yellow uh, circle, white color. Uh, then on this main images, you are choosing the box with that color. Mm -hmm. And then we are doing the same with the rest. We are adding an attribute item and here we are naming it uh, black. We are adding our black color circle and we are also adding our main image. And we are also selecting the color. Mm -hmm. And then the last one. After we are done, we are going here on top and we are creating here on publish. Let's now add another attribute of our box dimensions. For that, we are again going to stacks, attributes and add a new one. Here I will title it saying the box dimensions. Mm -hmm. We will again type, title it as well. Mm -hmm. From the templates, we are choosing the measurements and from the type, we are choosing input. So we are done with this part. Now we are going a little bit down and we are adding our attribute items. So we will add the width, the length and the height. Let's start with width. Mm -hmm. We are choosing the input type as number. Then we are going a little bit down. We are adding the field key, which is 
width and we are adding the uh, field unit which is centimeters mm -hmm. and then we are also configuring this uh, let's say it's 75% uh, and here it's 42% and we are do doing the same with the, the other uh, items so here we are now adding the length Mm -hmm. The input type, again, we are choosing number, again, our field key, which is length in this case, and our field unit, centimeters, again, and it differs with this part, which is 75% and 87%. Let's add the last one as well. After we are done with our adding our dimension items, we are going up and we are clicking here on publish. We are now adding two other attributes as well, uh, which is concerning our labels. Uh, we are writing here box label uh, light. Light label. We are choosing the template as option list. And the type is color. We are going down again. We are adding our attribute items. And we are uh, choosing our main image. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are also choosing and setting the color here. And we are publishing it. And we are adding the same with the dark one. Box label dark. Mm -hmm. Again, we are choosing option list, we are choosing color, we are going a little bit down and adding our item. Choosing the main image and setting the color here. That's it, we are publishing. And now let's go to our product to see how these uh, attributes reflect on there. After successfully adding our product attributes, let's now head to products and go to see what happened to our box. So we are clicking here on edit. And first of all, you will need to enable Stacks Product Configurer. You can find it under this product data section. And once you enable it, you can see that a new section has been added. Uh, so from here, you can see this product attributes. From here, we are adding the attributes that we've just created. Add new attributes. Uh -huh. So the first one, I will add our box colors. Then add new. I will also add the box dimensions. Again, add new, our uh, box label light, and box label uh, dark. So now the most interesting moment, you can set conditional logic here. Uh, so for this uh, box label li light, let's set a conditional logic, add new rule. And we are saying box label uh, light is equal to light. We are adding it, uh, one more rule. We are changing the relation and. And we are saying that the box color is equal to black. Now we are adding another conditional logic for our uh, dark attribute. Again, set conditional logic, add conditional rule. And we are saying box label dark is equal to dark. We are adding another rule. We are changing it to and. And we are saying box color is not equal to black. Uh -huh. Let's now uh, update it here. And let's check out now the whole attributes that we've just created. Oh, wonderful. So now 
Uh, these are the colors that we've added. We have blue, we have black, and we have yellow. These are the dimensions that our uh, customers can uh, configure. And these are the uh, labels. So here you can see, if I change it to uh, white, uh, the darkest, uh, the uh, label is the label dark. And we, if you are going to black, it is white. So I think it's wonderful. Let's now go to see what we can do with the themes so that all this um, matches the look and feel of our website. Now we are heading to Stags and Themes. And here again, we are adding a new one and it works the same way the attributes work. So I will explain how. Um, so first of all, we can uh, configure the uh, appearance. Um, we can choose uh, how to display our uh, product and uh, options. Um, so let's choose this one. You can also choose the layout where you want the product to be displayed. And uh, uh, let's say uh, right side or to the left side, I will choose left. Uh, you can also, um, uh -huh. And here you can see the text where you want to display it, either center or left. Um, let's leave it to um, center here. Then you can go to themes uh, and here you can also choose the dark mode. You can uh, choose this uh, custom and choose something that matches your brand, let's say. Um, I will uh, stick to white for this one. Uh, and here it also has the CSS uh, part. So if you are proficient in CSS, you have some knowledge in it, then you can definitely go with this and advance your um, themes. So uh, afterwards, uh, let's also name this and I will name it Fox Theme. We are publishing it. We are going again back to our products. We are choosing our box. And here on top, you can see uh, under this uh, uh, Stacks configure build, uh, Configuration Builder, uh, you can choose the theme. And here I'm choosing Box Theme and I'm updating it. And once it updated, we can preview our product. And here is how it looks like now on my uh, WordPress account. That's it about Stacks, the perfect product configurator toolkit for your WordPress and WooCommerce sites. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to not miss out our WordPress tips and tricks. Have a nice day. See you next time. Bye.